So as we continue to learn about calculus, we come across differential calculus. Differential calculus is really important and what it's really about is just instantaneous rates of change. So um, a lot of the times uh, you might be familiar with or you probably should be familiar with um, is algebra. Algebra um, really uses average rates of change which you probably know as slope. So you take two points, two xy coordinates you can have x1, y1, x2, y2, and you would take these and you would use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 to calculate the slope of a given, um, a given person or movement over the period of time. So this is, um, in essence, the average slope. But what calculus allows you to do is something interesting. So it actually allows you to take the instantaneous rate. So what that means is, for example, if you take a runner, um, you can you can answer questions like how fast is the runner traveling or, it, or how fast is the runner traveling 30 seconds into the race. So you would actually have a much more precise idea of the speed of the runner at a given point in time. So what that means is you would actually be able to physically, or not physically, but you would actually be able to tell exactly how fast the runner is moving at 30 seconds into the race. So you're not taking an average over a time period. You're actually, it's as if you could actually see the runner moving in real life and you could pause time and you could tell how fast that runner was moving at that instant. So it's pretty interesting. So right here we have two graphs, um, two XY graphs. So let's take this right here first. We can kind of look at this and um, I can use this to explain why differential calculus or really the concept of differential calculus. So let's say this graph right here you are, as I said before, familiar with the concept of slope, which is the change in y over the change in x, rise over run. So for any given point, it's delta y, delta x. It's really just a change in that, and the slope is just a measure of telling that change. And that's really all slope is. And as you can see, for this linear function, you can take the slope at any specific point. You can take it at any specific point over here or here or here or here. It would all be the same because what we have over here is really an example of what would probably be uniform motion. So it's just moving at a constant velocity. If we're assuming that this is uh, the graph over time of something moving. And so it would just be constant velocity. But if we look at another example of, let's say, this graph right over here. So we see that the shape this time seems to be a little different. Whereas last time, uh, or in the first example, we have a straight uniform motion. Over here, it's different. It's changing. It's not constant. So you could take the same approach and you could say, let's say, between the time period of 5 and 10, or let me make this a little more precise, 5 and 10, and we're assuming that the x represents seconds in time in this situation, you could say that 5 and 10, you could say that you could ask a question, for example, you could say, how fast was the runner moving? And using your knowledge of slope, which is delta y over delta x, you could potentially calculate this average rate of change. Now, this would just be an average rate of change. Let's say you did the same thing for 10 and 15. How fast is a runner running between 10 and 15 seconds? That would look different. The slope for that line would be steeper than the slope for that line. And the same would apply if you did 15 and 20. The slope for this line would also be way steeper and the slope for the previous two lines. So really, at this point, the slope kind of starts giving you a rough estimate. It doesn't really 
do justice and it doesn't give you accuracy. So this is where differential calculus really comes in. And what you can do with differential calculus is you can actually say, hey, how fast is the runner moving at 10 seconds? So how fast is runner moving at 10 seconds? So differential calculus, what you're really doing is you're you're doing the you're doing you're doing the change in y over change in x, but x, the change in x becomes really really small. And the smaller it becomes, this gives you the idea of instantaneous instantaneous velocity or slope. So, and that's really what differentiating means. So instantaneous, you could tell that at 10 seconds, how fast is the runner moving at this specific point? So differential calculus allows you to take a derivative of a function and actually come up with another function that you can plug in any x value for and find out how fast that's moving. And the way it works is, is you, you could kind of look at this point and you could draw a tangent line to it that barely touches the graph. And it's just kind of really that's the that's the the slope at that specific point. And you could do that for any point across the line. You could do it at any point across the line. And it would barely be touching. So it's just a tangent line, which is only true, which is really only the slope at that specific point. So that is what differential calculus allows you to do. And differential calculus does that by allowing you to take a derivative of a function. So let's say we have a function f of x. And in differential calculus, you'll take the derivative of that function and you'll end up with a new function f prime of x. So this is notation. Um, you, you can see f prime of x. It could be called dy dx or it could be y prime. These are just a few different notations for uh, the derivative of a function. And what this function will allow you to do is essentially you could take any value from the x-axis, you could take any value of x, you could plug it in for x into the differential equation, and you could solve it to find the instantaneous slope at that specific point. In the following videos, you'll actually learn how to take the derivative of a function and go ahead and actually do this.